set, the candles are lit, the wine is poured. Let's get this dinner going. Bear with me because I have never made this recipe before. Oh, that sizzle. Can you hear that? Come in, come in, you got it. Welcome to this episode of Bon Appetit. It's the summer and we're still spending a ton of time at home. On tonight's episode of Bon Appetit. On tonight's episode of Bon Appetit. On tonight's episode of Bon Appetit. What are we doing? What do you mean what are we doing? We just went grocery shopping together. which can only mean one thing. Bon Appetit time. Did you guys see that? He said it without me having to even prompt him. So I'm gonna show you how to make some incredible recipes and along with it, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the perfect summer at home date night oasis. So I'm gonna be putting together a beautiful tablescape. My jumping off point for creating this date night summer oasis is a white wine. I've partnered with Stonely Wines and today I'm going to be featuring their Sauvignon Blanc, known for its renowned tropical fruit flavors. I'm going to lean into some grapefruit, some orange, some lemon, and this is going to be the entire inspiration for my recipes along with my tablescape decor. So let's get started. I'm gonna make two dishes, one of them being a grapefruit and fennel salad. This is from one of my own recipes in my Bon Appetit book. Um, I'm sure a lot of you would be really excited to get my recipe book. So I don't know, comment below if you are because maybe we can see about making that happen. And the second part of this dish is a lemon thyme roasted chicken. One of the reasons why I decided to do a chicken dish tonight is because the Sauvignon Blanc by Stonely pairs really well with white meat, such as poultry, white fish or seafood. My husband doesn't eat seafood. And because this is a date night, I have to make something to appease him. So we're having chicken tonight. You guys know that I try to eat vegetarian as much as possible. And if I am going to eat meat, then I really want it to be organic. Like I really want it to come from a really good source. So this is the type of chicken that I will eat. Bear with me because I have never made this recipe before. I'm gonna place two lemon wedges, three cloves of garlic, and three sprigs of thyme into the cavity of each chicken. And voila. So chicken's in the oven and that's gonna take about 25 to 30 minutes to bake, which is perfect because that's just enough time for me to make my salad and put my tablescape together. The first thing that you need is fennel. I have to say, fennel is really a delicious vegetable. I find that if the fennel is really thick, the flavor can be a little bit overpowering because it does have that licorice flavor. But when you've got nice thin slices of the fennel, it really absorbs the dressing and absorbs the other flavors that are around it. And the crunch is really, really next level. Next up, I'm gonna add two grapefruit. Slice the segments out, and then I don't have to deal with any of the bitterness of the inner skin. I cut it into smaller pieces, and then this goes right into the salad. To finish up my salad, all I need are two avocados. The best way to slice an avocado is just to go lengthwise, twist, and then you're gonna wanna take out the pit just like this. Twist, there we go. 
next up, let's make this dressing. So what you'll need is mince a shallot, a quarter cup of olive oil, one teaspoon of grainy brown mustard, two tablespoons of white balsamic vinegar, quarter cup of fresh grapefruit juice, a generous amount of some microgreens. In this case, I'm gonna use some baby arugula and a tiny bit of spinach. Mmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Very, very good. I've got an idea. Now I do like to improvise when I'm in the kitchen. I might just add a tiny bit of wine because I think this is gonna give it a little extra flavor. You hear that sizzle? familiar with my dining table and what I'm gonna do is set this beautifully but I'm gonna have some fun with this this is gonna be a little unconventional but you guys know me I like unconventional I want my guests or in this case my husband to sit down and feel like we're gonna have a good time and that this is not going to be a formal dinner what I love about this tablescape is that it's fun, it's casual, it's relaxed, but it feels so much like a beautiful summer oasis tablescape. If I had to describe this tablescape, it looks really fragrant, but it smells really fragrant too. So because I'm setting this for date night, so this is for Chris and I, I'm gonna start off with two place settings and I've got these great brown leather placemats. And then on top of that, I'm going to add these white ceramic plates. I love the idea of layering. You guys see that in my work all the time. And I have these adorable bright yellow citrus colored clay plates as well. So I'm going to layer the plateware. And as you can tell, I'm starting to pull the colors directly from the fruit. So you see the bright yellows, you see the oranges, and I've got this great grouping of flowers. I love drama when it comes to greenery and florals. Again, you can see that the flowers are pulling from the same colors of the citrus fruit. Obviously, that's very, very deliberate. Now, these are quite tall, so I'm just gonna cut these down. But what I love about these flowers is that there's a lot of height, there's a lot of texture. So I'll give you a tip when it comes to table setting. And one of the things that I really like to do is to create clusters on a table. So I'm not really keen on having a big centerpiece right in the middle of the table. I actually like to move a big dramatic centerpiece off to the side. What that does is that it allows for everybody who's sitting at the table to actually see each other. And also it's kind of nice to have some drama and volume on one end of the table. What I especially love about this tablescape is the layering of different pattern and color and the touch of the unexpected. I love these pieces of cutlery because there's a punch of black and white which feels a little bit more edgy against all the citrus tones and then there's pops of gold around the table so it feels casual but very glamorous at the same time. If you're interested in any of these items, like the plateware, the cutlery, the candles, make sure you head over to my blog at karenbond.com or we'll link all of these items in the description box below. Bon appétit. Bon appétit.